So if your GM gauge cluster is doing this instead of this, I'm gonna show you how to fix it for free in under 10 minutes with nothing more than a seven millimeter socket. First, you're gonna to wanna to turn the key to its first position, push the brake, drop the gear shifter all the way down, tilt the steering wheel all the way down, like such. Now you need to pop the gauge bezel off of the dashboard. It's simple, pops off with just your fingers. The steering wheel needs to be all the way down to do this. Now when you're pulling out, the upper part of the bezel is gonna to wanna to hang up. So just press it down and it'll pull out. And here's where the seven millimeter comes in. You gotta remove the four screws that hold in the cluster. Here, 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 and here. Now you're gonna to wanna to pull it outward and tilt it up. This is the hardest part of the whole job, removing that connector. I would advise returning the gear shifter back to park and turning off the key before removing that connector. I don't like unplugging electrical components when they have power to them. All right, it's really a matter of just squeeze and wiggle. It will come out eventually. Now we need to remove this black back cover from the gauge cluster. It's as simple as popping all these tabs loose and the cover will lift right off. That exposes our board. This is where the magic happens. And a lot of you are gonna be skeptical, but I promise you, it works nine out of 10 times, probably. The prevailing theory is that this error is caused by static electricity that builds up in the board. So all you're gonna do is take your hand and rub it across the back of the board slowly several times and try to discharge any built up static electricity in the board. There's electromagical science involved and I can't completely explain it, so I'm not even gonna try. But I'll tell you at the end of the video when this is most likely to occur in your truck. The cover just snaps right back on, so we're gonna plug it in and reinstall it. I've reconnected the harness and reinstalled the four bolts. It's probably a good idea to test this before you reinstall the bezel. Good to go. You just saved 300 bucks. Now let's reinstall the bezel. Big thing here is to make sure you line up your indexing dowel with the corresponding hole on each side of the dash bezel. Then it just snaps right into place. So 10 minutes and one socket and you fix your cluster for free, probably. Now let's talk about why this happens. This only happens to me when I rotate the tires or change the oil on the truck. My first thought was that it was a faulty button that was being pushed to reset the oil life or the trip odometer. But then I put my thinking cap on. It has nothing to do with the buttons because that wouldn't explain why rubbing your hand across the back of the circuit board would Since fix it. It's pretty much established that it's a static electricity issue. What's happening when we change our oil or rotate our tires? That's happening. Yep, you're grounding your vehicle that is normally not grounded because it's insulated by your tires. And somehow, that electromagically allows the static electricity to screw up your gauge cluster. And I'm not even gonna try to explain that because, well, I can't. So if one of you electromagical geniuses want to try to explain it in the comments, go right ahead. Anyway, I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.